beautiful people of the internet and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're getting really real. I have no makeup on. I have a frilly white robe. So let's get ready. I might eat some Cheetos in the middle. I might take a break to go get a Diet Coke. Alright so I am going to start off with some primer. I have a little mirror right here in case you guys are wondering what I'm looking at. I don't have multiple cameras so I can't really do like fancy angles and I don't really want to switch it out from side to side. Yeah, if you guys get so close you can see the inside of my pores. So, you know, we're just gonna do a, a nice one shot and done. Alright, primer's good. Well, uh, we'll let that do its job and we'll put on some eyebrows. So I'm just gonna take my little brush right here. It's got the little dual end with the brow brush and then the little, you know, pencil thing I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna just put that on my eyebrows. Fill them in a little bit. Cause they're a little blonde, real thin. Not the look I'm going for. Alright, so we got some brows. Let's put this bad boy away. I don't even know what do you do after this. Foundation. There we go. I'm a girl. I know how to use makeup. I am actually going to use a BB cream. This is from Althea, I believe. It's a Korean BB cream, which I love because, I mean, anything K-beauty is my favorite. So we're just going to put some on my little beauty blender here, which I've already wet, which is why it's the size of Pennsylvania. And we're just going to put on some of this stuff that makes your skin look a little bit more even, you know what I'm saying? Now, homegirl here has tried extremely expensive foundations. Um, I just had the, uh, oh, what was it? I had Makeup Forever, I've had Tarte, I've had Kat Von D, I have had Giorgio Armani. I have tried a lot of expensive foundations. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, BB cream or CC cream is definitely my favorite. I love how light it is. I hate, hate, hate when I feel like there's eight layers of product on my face. It's like, I am not a cake. I don't want to be frosted. All right, so we'll just get a little bit more here around the eye area so we can cover up those dark circles from staying up too late last night. Hashtag Instagramaholic, hashtag I can't put my phone down, hashtag I'm addicted to Instagram. All right, so foundation is on and <laughs> Well, we got a contour, but my brushes are in the bathroom, so I'm gonna be right back. All right, so I'm gonna take out my contour and highlight palette. It's nothing fancy. I literally got it for like, I don't know, five, six dollars at TJ Maxx or something. I drop makeup all the time, so I have basically told myself I'm not allowed to buy really expensive makeup of like any sort of powder because I will drop it or my cat will knock it off the counter and then I'll try to use that cool trick where you put like alcohol on it, that little isopropyl alcohol and then you know you push it together. It, it, it works, it does, but I'm too impatient of a person and I'm probably just gonna drop it again. So that is why I only spend money, a lot of money, on certain products. I don't need that brush, what am I doing? How do makeup people do it? Do they show you? What it, look, I'm gonna drop it, I swear. Okay, so I'm gonna take this real dark shade here, cause I'm real pale, and we're just, we're gonna, we're gonna wing it here with the contour. There. Perfect. Oh, I bet I just look so attractive right now. It's just, I'm single. Single and ready to mingle. Put a law on the nose too. Mama's got a big nose. We'll get a little up on the forehead here because, I don't know. I don't really think I have that big of a forehead, but it's what kind of torn does, makes it smaller. All right, now I'm just gonna blend that out. All right, so now we're going to as they call, bake the face, which apparently literally the beauty industry is trying to turn us into cakes, you know, but whatever, I guess. So we're just gonna do this. While that's sitting there, letting myself bake, we're gonna take some concealer, and first off, I'm gonna go around these brows, cause they're looking a little crazy. Gotta tame those a little bit. Not too bad, but it just helps everything look a little better. Alright, so I'm going to take more of that lighter color 
and just set that. I'm gonna use the old beauty blender because it's pretty much a multi-purpose tool for anything you can think of. Gotta clean your dishes, use your beauty blender. Gotta bake your face, use your beauty blender. Gotta absorb some tears because you got really upset because I didn't bring the extra side of ranch. Beauty blender. All right, let's move on to highlight. And I take my little highlight palette here. Can't really show you guys because half of it's falling out because, I don't know. I just ordered one from Sephora though, so don't be mad at me. And we'll take our little fan brush and we'll just make ourselves look like a glistening cake. This really should just be like how to be a cake tutorial. Maybe that's what I'll name it. How to be a glistening, beautiful lady cake. All right, now that I officially look like a beautiful glistening cake, I am going to put some blush on. We'll do a little bit with the eyes. I don't know what we'll do. We'll figure something out. Oh, we got makeup brushes going everywhere. That's okay. This isn't a tutorial. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so I'm just gonna go in with the brow and the same stuff that I used on my face because I have literally broken four palettes in the last month and it's really irritating. So I've just been starting to use this. If I spend money on nice things, like $42 for a palette, I break it the next day. So we're just gonna put this on the eyelids so we don't look as pale. Let's think of it as chocolate frosting for this beautiful lady cake. A little better, all right, so now we got some chocolate frosting on our eyes, perfect. Gonna take a little crease blending brush here. We'll just darken up those creases. Actually gonna put a little bit of lip stuff on in the middle of my makeup tutorial because I quite like this. It is the Tarte Tartiest Lip Paint in Shade Birthday Suit. I actually got it at Sephora on my birthday because you get free gifts if you didn't know. So make sure you guys sign up for the beauty rewards there. All right, so let's put some blush on this face because it's looking a little sad. This is the Parte shade in the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush from Tarte, which is the second thing that I got. I got this and I got the other one for my birthday. So that was nice. Have a little something special for myself from Sephora. Thank you, Sephora. All right, so then I'm going to take my Hourglass Liquid Liner and just do a small line on my upper lid. Small line, she says. They never turn out the same. And then I just keep adding to it. All right, good enough. All right, so then, by the way, I usually don't use like liquid eyeliner on my everyday face, and I also usually don't put the brown stuff, but I just started to run with the idea that I am making myself into a lady cake. So then we're gonna move on to mascara. I have the Monsieur Big from Lancome, which has been my absolute favorite, favorite mascara lately. <music> So lashes, are done. I really don't think there's anything else to do to my face here. So I think that's it. I think this is my get ready with me. This is it. So hopefully you guys like this video. If you want to see more get ready's with me, then just let me know down below in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me because it lets me know that you don't think I'm a loser. But that's okay if you do because my mom says I'm cool. Anyways, that is going to be it for me today, beautiful people. And I will see all of you in my next video and I'm trying to think of what that's gonna be. Anyway, leave a comment down below for me and I will see you guys in my next video.